Hi, Mike Thornton here from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to be doing a show and tell on the Blue Cat Audio new Linear EQ, a linear phase EQ plugin that they've recently released. So here it is, uh, nothing particularly unconventional. I'm using it in its dual mode. We can also run it in its non dual mode, and you can see here that each of the controls now will control both the left and the right channel. So if I go back into the dual mode, you can see now that I get a control for both the left and the right channel. So here are the EQ, because this is a graphic equaliser, so these are fixed frequencies. So there are the channel 1 knobs. I can click there and get the channel 2 knobs or I can change the layout and have both the channel 1 and channel 2 controls available to me. Now where this dual channel mode can be really, really useful is for EQing stuff using mid-side MS. So now you can see as I've engaged the MS that channel 1 is controlling the mid, everything that's in mono, and channel 2 is controlling all the side information, all the stereo information. So this enables me to EQ the stereo content differently to the mono content. And one of the things that I use uh, an MS EQ for is if I'm using an MS mic, the uh, difference mic, the figure of 8 mic, will often pick up quite a lot of low frequencies. Uh, and so what I can do is I can filter off the freq low frequencies from the figure of 8 mic, but of course the M mic still has all that low frequency content, so you just lose the low frequency rumble from the stereo image, but you still have all the low frequency sounds being picked up by the M mic. Okay, so let's uh, take a listen to this and see how we can use the Blue Cat Linny EQ. So yeah, I've got it here in dual mode, and I've got it in MS, so I can filter out the S signal, the difference, the low frequencies, but have a listen to what happens as I push some of the mid to high sounds, especially as the singer comes in. You, knew me at the start. you can see that it sort of opens out you the and really the impacts on some of the sibilance in the stereo field, so it opens Three out the reverb return could well be a bit excessive, but you can see how this is working in MS mode. But the really nice feature is that I can go into spectrogram mode, which for somebody like me who's used to seeing spectrogram displays on Isotope RX, I can see that there's a particular frequency here, so I can actually push that up, or bring it back down again. And if that's too wide, then we can go into notch mode and tighten that up. So we're only going for those frequencies, but we can see what's happening with the spectrogram. It's a really, really nice display. So again, I can change the EQ for the difference. And I've not changed the notches because on the second channel, the notches, notch option and the sharp option are separate. A really, really nice. And and everything in between. We can turn on and off the meters if we need to. We can turn on and off the display. So if you prefer to work without a display and just use your ears, you can do. You can also lose the knobs option if you prefer simply to work off the display. So if screen real estate is a bit of an issue. And then we've got different sizes here, so we can make that uh, medium. And then we can actually increase that up to large. Now. So you can really start to see what's going on. So you can use all the screen real estate you've got. So it packs an awful lot into one plugin. We've got the spectrogram, which is really, really nice, especially, as I say, for people like me who are used to interpreting spectrograms. So actually overlaying the EQ curves over the spectrogram, 
very, very nice feature. We've got the mid-side option, which is really, really good. It enables you, especially in mastering, to do all sorts of types of EQing uh, that you wouldn't be able to do if you were working simply in left-right mode. So packing an awful lot. The one thing I do have to say is I would really love to be able to move these frequencies slightly sideways so that if I can see a particular issue that there is in the audio waveform that I could just slide that across. That said, with all the different shapes that you've got, you can very quickly build up a sort of EQ curve to make it do what you want it to do. So uh, really nice uh, shapes, really nice sounding. And of course, it's a linear phase EQ. So one of the issues you have with any EQ module, whether it's analog or digital, is that as it, the audio passes through it, the different frequencies, the phase relationship between the different frequencies changes. And so one of the things that people started developing were a linear phase EQ that will resolve that. Now one of the issues that tends to generate in a digital environment and a Pro Tools environment is that you need is that the EQ is a little bit more latent so there is some more latency involved in it but they have worked really hard to make sure that that latency is as little as possible and uh, they're talking about 180 uh, sorry 128 samples at 44.1 uh, as the latency in this plugin. So there we go, the uh, Blue Cat Lini EQ, um, a very interesting and useful addition to the toolkit, having a range of free, uh, features. Obviously, the MS EQ feature is not unique, but to have this spectrum analyzer overlaid over the GUI uh, interface for adjusting the EQ is really, really nice. So there we go. Uh, go and check it out. There's uh, a demo download so you can go and try it out for yourself and see what you think. See you again soon.